Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a quick crash course on how we can optimize this potential website here based out of San Diego. They're a painting company that I found as I was doing some research on San Diego painting companies here. And here's what we could do right away to improve their performance online, to get more traffic, more leads, you know, more revenue ultimately, and whatever their business objectives are. But at the very least, we can optimize this website here for SEO. And so I'm just gonna give you guys a quick crash course. It'll take around five, 10 minutes. So if you stay till the end, you're gonna learn uh, a lot about what we could do to better optimize this website here. So what I like to do whenever I first start out is I like to do a to what's called like a topical audit. I like to do a quick scan, open up some of these other links that they have here or links in general and see if they all work, if they're all working in perfect condition. We don't see any broken pages here or any pages that pop up a oops message, which is also known as a broken page. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So let's see what they're about. So they're a residential, it says whether they're doing residential or commercial painting, our experienced team gets the job done quickly and affordably. So that's their unique value proposition, uh, their UVP. And uh, we could scroll through some of the other images here. They look like high definition. They have their brand there called Bullman Painting, and it seems like that is a consistent, you know, theme to what they have going on here. This looks good. They talk more about themselves down here. But right off the bat, the homepage looks very thin in content. I'm going to refresh it. We don't even see any keywords being used here in the header one related to the residential painting jobs, the service areas that they do the job in. And so that's already a big mistake that they're missing out on because they can be getting some extra traffic from people looking up the service in the San Diego area and the surrounding uh, areas that they service. Personally, I would create uh, service pages related to service painting and the areas that they offer their service, commercial painting, I would do the same thing there. Cabinets, you get the idea. And if we go back to the homepage here where I did a quick Google search, we could see immediately that their homepage title is not even optimized. They have a colon mark after Bowman Painting San Diego, and then they have the word home. So typically no one's gonna look up the word home when looking up services related to painting here. So that's a huge opportunity that they're missing out on for their homepage. Homepage keywords is crucial. I like how they have included a video here. I would wanna make sure that it's an embed, an embedded video, which would make the, the video load faster and the website load faster in general. So I hope that is good on that side, but we're not gonna to dive too deep into those facts there for at the moment. The homepage is lacking a little bit of page copy. So that's something I'd wanna look into and that's another opportunity that they're missing out on. I would talk more about not the benefits related to their company. I would talk about benefits related to how they can better improve you know, the life of the customer, right? If they want to hire them for better craftsmanship or better painting uh, services here. But yeah, I would maybe break up some of this text here into a bulleted list so that it reads better because even even this here is a bit, it's a bit clunky. I, it's something I don't even wanna read right, right off the bat. So that's gonna make, uh, it's gonna slow me down in terms of the user experience. And it's just something that doesn't, it's not ideal because you can hire a web designer and they can easily reformat this, the visuals, they can you know, add high definition image for the thumbnails here as well. Uh, but those are small tweaks that go a long way and it just makes you look a bit more presentable and professional, uh, especially for the professional painting services that they offer to their clients with 20 plus years of experience. That's something I would look into right away. Uh, it says contact us now. Um, I think a better call to action may be get a, get a quote, you know, get a call now to get a free quote or something to that effect that would get some ideas off of some of the top ranking websites here. And so, yeah, they're missing out on the page title. I would improve the page copy for the homepage. And again, you if you don't know how to improve the page copy for, you know, the homepage, you know, there's this easily, there's this affordable tool called Surfer SEO, super popular. Uh, and there's a lot more, uh, but I'm not gonna share them in this video because I think this tool is good enough for like 90% of the public here. So this is a really great writer tool that basically helps you optimize. Uh, it basically helps you get your website found a lot higher in Google search results because it helps you with some of the keyword research, how to build out a content outline, 
how to add more page copy to say the home page or even your service pages which are crucial and a lot of businesses are missing out on because they don't really know SEO or they don't they're not you know writers by profession so therefore they're going to be lacking in those skill sets which is why they typically want to hire uh, an, a marketing professional an SEO professional a writer etc but even with writers you typically you know I've, I've seen a lot of companies hire out writers and I'm not hating on them but basically what you want to make sure is if you're hiring a writer is that they have some SEO skill because you don't want to write and include keywords that are not pertinent to the page at hand and that's uh, that's something I've seen before for for previous clients so make sure that they have really strong keyword research skills so that they're optimizing properly for the money pages which are arguably the most important pages at least for for a painting uh, website here company so yeah the service pages are really thin in content and what I mean by thin is that the text here if we copy it and we paste it into a, a word counter it's around 600 characters in length and I think the tools being generous uh, most tools are terrible at giving you an accurate uh, count of the words that are on the page but just looking at this here it's not it's not very enticing right there's no there's no images here I'm basically you know met with a a wall of text which for users they don't like seeing that they want to see something that's a bit more appealing to the eye that's easy to scan typically you know uh, human psychology when it, when it comes to reading text it starts from left to right so maybe I want to break up the text from left and move it to the right side here bring it back to the left side and so on when it comes to the length of of the paragraphs I wouldn't make them any longer than one or two sentences maybe three at the most before I break and add a new line because like I said you don't want to make it too clunky it's not a good user experience it doesn't look well read well and typically people don't even read all the paragraphs they'll usually just scan like a bulleted list and they prefer that they prefer images as well and so one thing that you could do if you don't know what to write about say if this was for your website or a client's website um, you can literally just go here I may even open up this as sponsored ad because typically these are performing well in search and so I want to go with what's performing well in Google search. So you can see right away that the web design of this top ranking website looks dramatically uh, objectively better just based off some of the points that I was recommending earlier. You know, people read from left to right and we could see that this text begins from left and it moves to the right side. They have some images, basically what I mentioned. All the points I mentioned previously, they're using good contrast here. They have a strong brand, just given the colors here. You can see that right away. And then it looks like they're including uh, testimonials or reviews of the different projects or potential uh, customers that they've serviced. So if you see that here, you could see high definition images, really well designed. Uh, it's a good layout here. And you could see some more information here at the bottom. I think this is great because people want to see what you're capable of doing, right? So this is perfect here. Uh, I really like that. And then they break this. Then we have a new section here, I should say, related to the other painting services that they offer. And we could see, uh, not to like toot my own horn here again, but you know, get a free estimate or call for an estimate. That's also like a great uh, thing that's low commitment in terms of you know you're not buying any services at the moment you could just call to get a quote and they've included the phone number here this is great it says get a free estimate it's very well laid out it's designed for conversions here this is going to perform well which is why it's ranking high in google search results i'm not surprised and if we take some of the information from this website here which we were talking about how to improve for getting more organic traffic more leads more sales more revenue right then we could see some of his historical performance here that has um, it started going well at, at some point in time around early 2017 and then it started dipping again this is not good strong performance as you could and imagine because we have some dips here that I want to research and this could be due to many reasons but for a quick audit I'm not going to get into that we can see that the organic traffic is not that much we're not even at the hundreds backlinks are extremely high 
So I'm already kind of curious about that because since when do people who, you know, link back to your website show no organic traffic? Like there should be traffic coming from these other websites. And yet there's there's not a lot. Not for it's not like even a one to one when you look at the ratios here. So that already makes me kind of curious to see if they even have good quality backlinks. They likely don't. But um, yeah, you'd want to do more research there. So if we close out that website there and we we copy this this uh, this main website here, which it looks like they're called that right there, and we paste that here, I can almost guarantee that we're going to see some better numbers, right? Like this is dramatically different. Uh, this might be like a really popular brand, um, a company that I'm not familiar with, Serta Pro, right? But even if it wasn't that one, and we use another website here sorry about that music there it was related to that website and we paste them into a semrush we could see that they're at 600 versus the other one which was not even at the 100 mark here and we could see that the traffic here is trending upwards as well so that's good but looking at this graph here we could see that their keywords rankings fell so i'd want to do some more research on that as well but top ranking pages are optimized for conversions. These are going to get more leads, more sales, guaranteed. You know, most of the conversions happened in the top 10 results of Google. So if you're not there, then you're going to miss out on a lot of traffic and a lot of opportunities to make a sale for those that don't know. And let's go ahead and paste this last website. And we could see that the graph is different from all other three. It's trending upwards and that's what you want to see. It's slower growth, but it's still trending upwards and that's really good. But we could see a dip in keyword ranking. So they lost some of the keywords that they were getting found for related to the services and their business. And you could see some more information here. But uh, yeah, so in terms of optimizing that other website called uh, like Bull, Bull, Bullman uh, Painting Company. Yeah, I mean, you could see that the design is no match objectively when you look at it from the standpoint of you know including user testimonials like we saw in the other one or the projects that they completed for the customers that they serviced now here uh video testimonial they have one so i actually missed reading i, I didn't read this part here excuse me but we can see that they do have one testimonial uh, a few reviews down here at the bottom uh, personally, I'd want to move those higher. And yeah, I'd want to maybe say get a free estimate here or call us now to get a free quote, something something to that effect here. And I'd want to improve the page copy. That's a huge thing that they're missing out on. They're never going to rank high in Google search results if they don't clean up the, if they don't improve their page copy, I should say. Yeah, I would talk more about the benefits about working with them and then just make this more legible. Again, these are small tweaks that, you know, you need to account for because if you don't, you're not going to perform well in Google search results. And the data speaks for itself here, right? 20 versus 600 versus the other massive company with 150,000 organic search traffic. So, uh, you know, I say this to help the company, but basically, yeah, there's so many other things that you could do in terms of optimization from SEO. And you could see that I audited this what this I audited this website just by visually looking at it without even having to excuse me without even needing the use of a tool like you know Screaming Frog here. So you can imagine the opportunities that can be found if someone dedicates several hours into a website audit, right? So that's the potential of why website audits are important here. And then just reading, you know, basic information like the page titles and descriptions go a long way, including a call to action and the meta description, like this competitor above, get a free quote today. That's simple, but it's effective. It incentivizes people to want to click on your website over a competitor's because here um, I'm not really incentivized by a great service, right? And even if I was, I wouldn't know the next steps. Do I have to click on your website? Do I have to call you guys? Do I have to book an appointment? Like what's the deal, right? But here I know explicitly what the next steps should be. Get a free quote. And then if we use uh, some more examples here, uh, this company offers a painting free, stress-free experience. But if we go to the top of Google search results, we'll see 
I can imagine we'll see different um, calls to action here. Looking for affordable house painters in San Diego. Yes, I am. Call them basically, call for an estimate. And even some of these top competitors are, aren't using call to action. So even to them, this would even improve their performance by having more people click on their website. So make sure you include a call to action. To see more quick videos like our quick tips like this one, be sure to like the video and uh, subscribe.